This is an SU TV News Update, brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. Good news for those who missed their workout yesterday. NDSU Walsman Wellness Center has reported today is reopening today and resuming regular business hours. The water pipe broke in the Mac gym on Sunday, flooding the wellness center and prompting a quick, quick student evacuation. The Wellman Center reports the locker rooms will be open today, but the Mac gym will remain closed. A Moorhead woman died late Saturday evening when she struck by a car accident after an apparent fall off the 34th Street overpass onto Interstate 94. The woman has been identified as 55-year-old Christy Garden. According to the Minnesota State Patrol, Garden was struck by 25-year-old Benjamin Diaz. Prior to the accident, authorities received a report saying that a woman was running through traffic on 34th Street. Lanes of Interstate 94 were temporarily closed after the incident on Saturday night and into Sunday morning. Fargo Police Chief Keith Turnes says domestic abuse is on the rise in Fargo-Moorhead area. In the past two years, there has been a 9% increase in calls and a 5% increase in written reports of domestic abuse. According to the Rape and Abuse Crisis Center, last year alone saw over 2,000 court cases involving the crime. Both police and the Crisis Center say that education and awareness are key factors in helping decrease incidents. The NDSU football team had another successful game as they defeated number three ranked Youngstown State 48 to seven. The special team's defensive touchdown helped NDSU defeat their third straight opponent by home by at least 40 points. In the second quarter, Marcus Williams picked off a pass in the two yard line and returned it 94 yards for the score. Then in the third quarter, Ryan Smith took a punt and returned it 76 yards for another touchdown. NDSU will take on Indiana State at home. Looking into weather, it's going to be chilly, but it's going to be a light chance of showers tonight and tomorrow. And looking into the seven day forecast, it's going to be just a light chance of showers for Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will be pretty nice. Still chilly, though, for the weekend. This has been an NDSU News Update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore.